Hello everybody, my name is Steven Bowser and I am the owner of the Playground Gym, myself and my wife Heidi. <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of shoot this video real fast. Um, you're going to have some coaches that are assigned to you, however there's probably going to be some questions, especially about the nutrition plan or the nutrition guidance books that we're sending out. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying that there's no one size fits all for everybody, but we're going to give you some basic information to follow, and then what you're going to have to do is figure it out, how to tweak it to make it work for you. So let me start off by going over the um, traditional meal plan templates that we send you. Okay, again, this is the traditional meal plans. Now, we will also sell, send you some paleo um, nutrition stuff, which is I'm, I'm a huge fan of, but let's just start off with this one first. As you can see, the back of this, okay, this is what we're going to be sending you. Um, on, it's actually on the Facebook page that we're putting everybody on this private Facebook page. But if you click on it, there's four of them. Keep in mind, there's a... Um, one that's 1.25, there's one that's 1.75, there's 2.25, and there's 2.75. Now basically, this is more or less, you have to figure out what weight you are. So if you're 200 pounds, this would be yours, because you've got to go 25 pounds below or above this, okay? So basically, this is for somebody that's 200 to 250 pounds. Now the 275, 2.75 is for somebody that's like 251 to over 300, okay? And for 175, same thing, it's for somebody that's like 150 to 200 pounds, okay? So start off with this. Gives you a full week grocery list, all right? You can mix and match, but basically it's one of any of these, understand? So, for example, if you want to do three pounds of chicken breast, that's fine. You got all your protein for the week. If you want to mix it up and have a pound of chicken breast, a pound of bison burger, a pound of venison or pork loin, that's fine. So, but you're only allowed to have a total of one. So it's three pounds of protein, more or less, or carton of eggs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. So same with fat. Okay. Peanut butter, almond butter, coconut oil, etc. It tells you exactly what you need to prep your meals for the entire weeks. Okay, carbs, all right, bag of sweet potatoes, you know, whatever, box of pasta. You can mix and match. Obviously, you're not going to want to eat the same thing throughout the week. Okay, veggies, three pounds of any of the veggies. Um, well, this is basically uh, saying three, three pounds of uh, any of the veggies except the following, okay? Peas, carrots, corn, squash, eggplant, pumpkin beets. Apparently, for whatever reasons, they don't want you to eat those veggies, but get any of the other veggies that you want. Um, I'm a huge fan of uh, sweet potatoes. Um, well, that's actually on those carbs. Um, my bad. As far as veggies, they're looking for more fibrous stuff, like um, broccoli, uh, kale, you know, stuff like that, all right? So let's move on. So there's also, you can you can actually put some flavor enhancers or beverages on here, you know, different types of uh, sweeteners, you know, stevia, salt and pepper, soy sauce, mustard, et cetera, et cetera, okay? This is all your grocery list. You can print this out. It's gonna be on your Facebook page. Optional beverages, water, black coffee, tea, Crystal Light, Diet Soda, et cetera, et cetera. They are allowing you to do this stuff on this nutrition plan. Me, personally, I'm not a big fan of artificial sweetener. I would rather you just go cold turkey for the six weeks, but some people can't do that, okay? So this is basically allowing you to do any kind of zero-calorie stuff. All right, let's move back up to the actual um, individual meals um, for each day. As you can see, print this out, put your start weight, body fat percentage if you want. We're going to keep track of it for you as well, your name. 
Um, you could see, you can mix and match the, whatever you want to do. You're allowed to have six ounces of one of these or 1.2 cups of egg whites as far as your protein. You know, you look how your plate is split. You're getting uh, a third carb, a third protein, and a third of uh, fibrous carb. They don't even really want you to have fat in the morning. So that's your breakfast. Same thing for lunch. Okay. So for dinner, they're actually adding in some fat. Okay. Again, this is their traditional plan. Um, they want you to take a protein shake in between the meals. So you're going to get three meals and you're going to get two shakes. Okay. Time this right as far as you training, because obviously you don't want to uh, eat too closely before you know you base you uh, you work out okay so here's a sample breakfast six ounces of tilapia uh, an apple and a cup of mixed veggies okay um, sample lunch six ounces of chicken a cup of brown rice and then a cup of broccoli and then for dinner six egg whites some olive oil and a cup of spinach so you notice what they're doing here. They're actually trying to keep away the, um, you know, the heavy starchy carbs at night. So they're trying to wean you off, whereas you're just eating your protein, your uh, veggies, uh, fibrous veggies, and some fats. Okay, so you can see what they got going on here. This works. If this is what you want to follow, nothing wrong with it. It's not what I would follow. I would I would tweak it up. I probably wouldn't eat so much. Uh, of the starchy carbs I'd probably cut that down um, not that I'm saying I would cut it out but especially the days that you're not really training real hard I would basically not have any of these uh, heavy carbs I would just have some some healthy fats um, some veggies every meal and some lean protein all right as I see as I said earlier you can see the difference this is 1.75 um, this is for people who are between 150 and 200 pounds because you're um, subtracting and adding 25 pounds. And you can see that the servings are a little bit lower. Instead of a uh, full serving of, the, uh, of this, you know, you're going to do a half serving, 0.5. So instead of, uh, you know, a full, full piece of fruit, you're only getting half a piece. You know what I mean? Instead of a cup of pasta, you're only getting a half a cup of pasta. So, you know, kind of important there, um, you know, keep that in mind. I'll also send you a recipe book, which I actually think is really cool. Uh, seared scallops with sprouts. This is excellent, uh, by the way. It's really easy to make. Um, you know, you can see a bunch of different recipes. Stir fry, cabbage and pork. Uh, gives you all the uh, ingredients you need. That's excellent. Lean stuff. Peppers. The funny thing is, like a lot of this stuff, is more like paleo based um so you know really really good recipes lemon butter asparagus that's awesome um <laughs> i mean if you can eat like this every meal you're going to see the weight falling off um so you can take a look through this uh, recipe book it's not the only one low carb broccoli and tuna salad um, really good stuff In fact, I'm starting to get hungry. Smoothie. Or you can just go to Smoothie King. My buddy Omar owns it over here in Plantation in uh, Cooper City. And Davey. There you go. So shout out to Omar. One of my favorite books that we actually sent you is the uh, Guide to Paleo, the Paleo Challenge. This is what I follow. Um, it's really easy to follow and this book that I uh, gave you guys we actually had to pay um, <laughs> I mean we paid a lot of money to be able to uh, give this out it's a copyright book so um, you know since we are a uh, CrossFit affiliate you know we're allowed to uh, give this out it's excellent um, take a look through it uh, read it um, check out the recipes and paleo is really absolutely easy to follow um, and just to give you the quick uh, rundown on paleo is you're just eating lean meats 
uh, for protein, you know, lean protein, you know, you can have eggs and stuff like that, uh, seafood, but uh, you're really trying to get lean proteins, you know, vegetables every meal. And what I mean by vegetables is you're talking about fibrous vegetables, okay? Some fruit, but not a lot. I mean, totally, to be totally honest with you, I try to kick fruit out, period, during the six weeks because it's still got some high glycemic uh, carbohydrate in it and you really don't want to spike your insulin levels because that's going to make your body store fat, okay? If you're going to eat some kind of sweets, the time to do it is pretty much directly after you train hard okay so that kind of restores your glycogen loads some nuts and seeds but be careful with that because it's very easy to overeat it um, it's condensed calories if you eat a handful of peanuts you might be throwing five six hundred calories in your mouth and you don't even know it okay um, certain uh, types of uh, good animal uh, fats or, or oils that are good to cook with or olive oil I'm a big fan of avocado oil um, you know, just real coconut oil is excellent. Just don't overdo it. What you really need to stay away from is the grains and the sugar. Sugar is basically the devil. Okay. If you can cut the sugar out of your diet, you are going to be a new person. You might go through some withdrawals, but it'll pay off big time for you. Um, dairy is kind of bad. Um, <laughs> you know, I'll give you a little secret on the dairy thing. Okay. Um, if it's absolutely necessary to eat dairy. Um, like coffee, for instance, I can't drink black coffee. I try to cut back on coffee, but I can't drink black coffee if I do have some. So at Starbucks, they don't put it out, but you can ask for heavy, heavy whipping cream. It's not whipped cream. It's heavy whipping cream. It is nothing but fat. There is zero sugar in it. So keep in mind, you know, fructose, lactose, uh, you know, all that stuff is sugar. Um, so when you I'll give you a little quick example, like people say, oh, yeah, skim milk, it's got no fat in it. It's better for you. Guess what? They take all the fat out of the skim milk and they keep all the sugar in it. OK, the heavy whipping cream is the opposite. It's all the sugar out of it and just the fat. So, um, you know, you might want to just put a little bit of that in your coffee if you need that. But zero sugar. As far as the artificial sweetener, again. Not a big fan of it, but if you have to do it, you have to do it. There's some links on here as well. That's why I gave you guys the uh, download, because uh, that way you can go to the links, okay? Um, just take a look at it. Um, kind of gives you some ideas. It's 160 pages. There is a lot of good information on here. It explains exactly what the paleo diet is all about. It explains to you what you need to kind of stay away from and... Uh, what you need to try to be a part of. Now, keep in mind that <clears throat> other things are contributing factors to your nutrition. Number one is sleep is very important, okay? Make sure your sleep is uh, on point. I mean, if you can get eight hours, try to get eight hours. Um, six six to eight hours is, is, is good, but if you can get eight, I mean, you'll You'll be feeling a lot better as far as your your stress levels and recovery, especially when you're doing this kind of training. Um, let's scroll down here, get to the good stuff. So like I said, tons of information, links to click, and it'll actually uh, educate you on what the paleo diet is. Right, let's get to the good stuff. See, there's a ton of podcasts and Mark's Daily Apple is one of my favorites, as a matter of fact, and Rob Wolf, he is definitely, I just read one of his books, Wired to Eat, and I'll go over that in a second, um, but there's a lot of great information in there. Okay, here we go. So, included in this, which is incredible, is, um, this is totally different from the other one, by the way, but you have a whole shopping list, you have all meal plans, everything is all set up for you, okay? So... Um, you might want to take a look at this because this is an easier one to follow as far as I'm concerned, but everybody's different. Okay, so here you go. Scroll through that stuff. Um, here's your shopping list. I think it has some recipes on the top. Yeah, here's all the recipes. Yep, chef salad, uh, 
chicken and sweet potatoes, which very good stuff. This this is gold, honest to God. This is one of the best uh, nutrition guidance books that you'll ever get. Um, very simplified, and um, you, can, you can go through it when you get a chance. All right, and then I'm going to show you another one here. Here's another really good book. It's uh, as I was saying, the Primal Blue Point. Uh, Primal Blueprint, and it is by Mark Sisyon, uh, Mark's Daily Apple. It's it's really more or less like a paleo, a spinoff of paleo. Um, I really love this book as well. It's got a lot of really good recipes. Uh, listen, meal prep, you know, preparing yourself um, is is the it's the it's the key. I mean, if you get everything all set up and your food's ready, you're not going to make any bad choices because there's not going to be any bad choices to make in front of you, you know, keeping the uh, garbage out of the kitchen, you know, and listen, man, make this a family thing, you know, even if your wife or your girlfriend or your husband or boyfriend and kids, whatever, I mean, get them involved with this, man. This is a whole new lifestyle. This is, uh, this is something that's going to carry over. It's going to, Cut down on your inflammation. It's going to help your body repair itself. Um, you know, it sugar feeds, you know, I mean, it really does. Sugar feeds cancer. Sugar feeds bad cells. I mean, what is cancer? It's a sick cell that keeps growing, you know. Um, so sugar is something that has been uh, known to, you know, help sick cells continue to uh, grow. And you don't want that. So take a look at this as well. There's a lot of good information, a lot of good knowledge in there. And uh, I think everybody's going to enjoy this and they're going to see the weight coming off. Listen, a lot of times when you're hungry, the reason why you're hungry is you're not eating enough fat. You're eating a bunch of sugary carbs. You're not getting enough healthy fats in your diet. Don't overload on protein because that's not good either. You know, you want to make sure that you're eating the, the right amount of protein. Um, but even in the keto diet, you know, I've been checking out the keto diet and I'm not saying it's something that you want to do, but if you want to play around and Google it and check out the keto diet, that is basically, you know, kind of like an Atkins thing where it's high fat, high fat, moderate protein and super, super, super low carbs. So like an example of a breakfast would be whole eggs. So you're eating the yolk and the white in olive oil cooked in olive oil, okay, with avocado, all right, with some fibrous uh, carbs. And, uh, or, you know, you're getting veggies as your carb source. And I'm not talking like potatoes and starchy veggies. I'm talking about leafy veggies, okay. And um, it kind of puts your body in a ketosis, and you're going to use, uh, you're going to burn body fat as an energy source. And that's kind of what the paleo diet does as well. So enjoy this, and the coaches are here if you have any questions. Here's some of the books that I uh, I really enjoyed, and I'm in the process of uh, reading some of them. But I uh, I just finished Wired to Eat by Rob Wolf. That's excellent. Um, Peak Performance is not a nutrition book. It's about performance. I read that. It was excellent. Keto Clarity is something I'm reading right now, um, and it's very in very enlightening. Um, I read up on the microbiome diet because I was having some gut issues. Uh, that's another thing that you got to uh, make sure that you're getting enough digestive enzymes when you're eating. So one, some of the things that uh, really work well is maybe some sauerkraut, um, some kind of fermented foods while you eat, or even eat, uh, taking in some digestive enzymes, especially if you're eating a lot of uh, meat in your diet. Uh, the FODMAP solution, it's a total different uh, book about eating for digestion. has nothing to do with uh, weight loss and performance. Uh, and then Eat Dirt was kind of interesting. I started reading that. It was kind of interesting how we kind of uh, started uh, getting away from eating, uh, getting <laughs> enough dirt in our diet because of uh, washing it and stuff like that. It's kind of interesting. But again, Wired to Eat is definitely my number one. Keto Clarity, I'm reading right now, and it seems to be a really, really, really good book. And here's the uh, number one uh, uh, Fit Boss official six-week challenge recipe book. 
I think this is more of the traditional diet recipes. The other one I showed you was more uh, of like paleo diet, uh, low carb. So you can see there's a lot of good information on here as well. They even show, you know, as far as the uh, plate makeup. And um, take a look at this stuff. Uh, biggest advice, the best advice that I can give you is two things. Number one, start upping your fibrous carbs. Most of us do not eat enough veggies, right? Remember your mom used to always say, eat your veggies? Well, you know, mom always knew best. Right, so up your up your veggies, up your fibrous carbs, your veggies, um, and probably the most important is figure out where you need to be on the amount of calories that you're eating because I'd say ninety percent of Americans just eat way more calories than they need to. Okay, so you gotta probably start to log in the amount of calories you're taking in you're going to be on this private page i would highly suggest that you actually do uh post the food that you're eating so we can kind of see what's going on we can weigh you every week if you want what i like to do is weigh in in the first week weigh in in week three and then weigh in in the final week six okay but if you want to do it every week that's fine get with your coach whoever your coach is 6 a.m. I think it's going to be Kevin. 7 p.m. It's going to be Isaiah. To the most part, I'm around. If you're, um, yeah. So uh, if you have any questions, you can actually reach me, uh, or you can talk to any of the other coaches that are in the gym. Whoever you feel comfortable. We have a good group of people. It's a small group. The winner, well, you're going to win a nice prize at the end of this. Not to mention. You're going to, everybody in here is going to be successful if you stick with the program. I promise you that. There is no way you're not going to be successful. So um, just stay with it. Some people start losing right away. Some people might not start seeing it until week four and five, believe it or not. And all of a sudden, boom, it's amazing. The body fat testing part is the part that really is going to count. Okay. Sometimes the scale might not change a lot, but guess what? your body composition is, especially when you're doing this kind of training. All right. Any questions, let me know. I'm looking forward to working with all you guys and girls.